Okay, welcome to our support channel again. Uh, one of the things that is coming up often these days is Firefox, Microsoft Edge, and Google Chrome do not like FTP. Each of these browsers are slowly but surely removing support for FTP use um, on their browser. So if you have a bookmark or a saved location, uh, those are going to stop working. Google Chrome does have a workaround. Um, as of right now, Firefox does not and MS Edge does not. They prompt you to use the default app on your operating system that um, uh, if you have one installed to uh, access our FTP server. So one of the things that's um, that you can do is just create a simple network location using File Explorer. So on most of your systems down here on the bottom, you're gonna look. There's a Manila looking folder. This is File Explorer. Um, you can also access it over here on the Start menu if you right-click and go to File Explorer. You'll see in a second here it opens the same thing. Um, but uh, once you're here this icon it says this PC on on my machine on your machine it could say something different if you're on a networked device if you're at work in an office this may have the host name so it may be something specific if you're at home this might say my PC or Joe's PC or uh, Jordan's PC something like that um, but this is where we're going we're gonna right click here we're going to add a network location we're going to hit next. We're going to choose custom. We're going to hit next. Now, this address, you have a couple of different choices. We will have sent you the fully embedded link that has your username, password, and the path in there. And you can copy that and paste it from the email into this address, where you can physically type it in. Or you can do a generic one, especially if you are accessing multiple places on our server. So today I'm just going to do the generic one. I'm going to hit next. I don't want to log on anonymously. Uh, this is where you would enter your specific username. And then you can name this whatever you want. You can name it Premier FTP. You can name it whatever the name of the show or service you're accessing. You have This is up to you. I'm going to hit next. Open this when I finish. Now it's going to prompt me for my password. And I'm going to hit save. Log on. And now I am logged on to the FTP server. From here, I could browse to any of the shows that I have access to. For example, uh, maybe like Ryan Seacrest AT40. And then I could download um, straight from there. So now that I have that saved, if you click on my PC again, under network locations, you will see it here. Right click, send to desktop, create shortcut. Now if I close everything, there it is. So here's my shortcut that to my network location that I just created. So the next time I want to log into FTP, just come onto my machine here, double click. And then I'm good to go. And now I can browse to, um, again, like we talked about, the service that I'm looking for, Cook and Chase, for example. And I can download and proceed. Um, and that is really all there is to it. Uh, there's some there's some uh, tink tweaks that you can do there that will allow you to shortcut directly into a station folder. Um, and that would all come from the information that we're sending you into an email. But this is just an easy workaround. If you don't want to download a client app, um, something like FileZilla, which we have on this machine right here, uh, which I highly recommend because it's, it is a manual application, but it is one of the most stable and easiest ones to use. So to get around Firefox and Edge and Google Chrome, this is uh, one of the options you can do. Thanks again.